Hey everybody, it's Uptown, and today we're gonna do a costume review for a website called Cosplay Wars. Cosplay Wars is a website that supplies superhero bodysuit costumes for cosplayers. They have a pretty good selection of costumes to offer, including things like uh, costumes from Marvel and Avengers movies, uh, DC, Overwatch, some varieties of Zero Suit Samus, different Spider-Man costumes, that kind of thing. So when Cosplay Wars contacted me, um, they basically said that I could go onto their website and pick any bodysuit costume that I wanted and they would take custom measurements from me and have it made, have it shipped to me, and then I would review it for you guys. So I browsed their website and I eventually picked a costume that I'm actually pretty excited about. And um, when I told them what costume I wanted, they replied and sent me some very detailed charts from which to take my measurements from, which I vastly appreciate because working as a theater costume shop worker for many, many years, I can appreciate what specific detailed body measurements can do for making accurate outfits and costumes, because without them, it's anybody's guess if anything's gonna fit properly or not, because human beings are just too different, and you can't predict how some standardized size is gonna fit somebody. With that being said though, given that this is going to be a stretchy spandex bodysuit, there's a bit of wiggle room and give there, <laughs> figuratively and literally speaking in terms of like how sizes are gonna fit people because it will stretch to a certain extent. But I like custom measurements a lot because I do have some atypical body proportions and without custom measurements, it's oftentimes extremely rare for anything to actually fit me. So fingers crossed that the custom measurements in this case pay off. After I gave the measurements for the costume that I picked, they told me it would take roughly 10 to 25 days for it to show up at my doorstep because it took, I think, a, a little bit less than a week for them to actually make the costume for me. They were pretty much spot on. I think my costume arrived around that 25 day mark. So the costume that I ended up picking was Spider-Man's um, Avengers Infinity War suit. Spider-Man is a very good boy, and I'm excited to try on the suit of this very good boy and see how it looks, because I love him. So when the costume showed up, it came in one of those typical, like, white shipping bags, and inside that bag is this bag, which it's basically just like a big Ziploc bag with the costume in it. I've not opened this at all. Um, I've not opened the package. I've not felt the, even the fabric. I've not held it up or anything. I have no idea really what this is going to feel like or how it's going to fit. I should have mentioned this before, but I do know that um, these um, bodysuits are the type that sort of have that airbrushed look of giving you sort of like muscle contour on the suit which I've never had before, but I've seen a lot of them on like social media, so I'm curious to see how it works and how it looks. Another option that I wanna make sure to point out is that for this suit in particular, because Spider-Man does have that full head, full face mask with the big eyes on it, there was an option for this costume to have it sent to me with or without lenses. Because I'm not experienced in this world of this kind of costume or bodysuit. I don't exactly know what that means. What I interpret it to mean is that the mask will have like hard, sort of visually opaque looking lenses already installed in the mask. I guess, I think, I don't really know. We're gonna find out. Before I open it, um, my one concern that I have in my head going into this is whether or not the feet on this suit are going to have any sort of sole on them or if it's going to be basically just like putting on spandex tights. Meaning that if I want to go to a con or walk outside with these, am I going to need to put like soles on the bottom of them myself or does, does, does it already have them? 
Again, these are all questions we're about to find out. So, you can open the bag, just like any good old Ziploc. Here's the suit in a nice crinkly clear bag. I can see like the contouring on this suit and everything. The colors look really vibrant, which is good. So we can open the bag and take it out. Oh, a moment of truth. Okay, the material feels good. It feels like a thick four-way stretch fabric. It's not super thin, and I don't think it's gonna be super sheer, which is always something I worry about with these. Oh, I feel the lenses. Okay, wait, let's, oh, those cat-like reflexes. So here is the mask that I accidentally found with my hand. Oh, I see what they mean. I get it, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this up close so that you get a sense of what this actually means. So if you look up close at the mask, they basically have a hard but slightly flexible rubbery kind of shell around both of these, and then they have the actual lens, which you can see my finger moving um, behind it right now. So it's like a white, flexible plastic mesh that I'll be able to see through, but at least, especially from a distance, you won't be able to see my eyes behind it, which is exactly the effect that Spider-Man's mask has. So that's really cool. I'm feeling gadgets and gizmos inside this mask, and I'm trying to figure out what they mean. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm a dingus. It's just a zipper. <laughs> I'm dumb. All right. On the back of the mask, it has a red um, invisible zipper, so you can zip it up the back to open the mask and presumably stick your head in it. The bottom of this mask, I assume, tucks like into the rest of the bodysuit because I don't see any Velcro or like snaps or anything or any other zippers that would hold this mask to like the neckline of the suit itself. So I'm assuming that's probably what you do. So now here is the rest of the suit. Wow, it looks so long. Am I really that tall? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm that tall. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Okay, so right away I see that there is not any kind of bottom to the feet of this suit. There's just kind of like a black foot bottom to it, but it's basically just all one stretchy bodysuit, which is fine. I expected it to come like this. Like if it came with actual like rubber or like traction soles on the bottom, I was gonna be really impressed. So this is what I expected. Um, it will require a little bit of alteration from me, obviously, because I want to be able to wear this outside without putting shoes on over it, because that ruins kind of the illusion. Because I'm a stinking perfectionist about those kinds of things. So this is the suit. The back of it has another red invisible zipper down the back. Um, I don't know how long it is. Oh, that's an impressive zipper. So it opens up all the way to probably like the small of my back. So that's plenty of room for me to step into the suit and then pull it on and then zip it back up. Hopefully it's a thing that I can zip up on my own. I'm thankfully fairly flexible in my shoulders, so I should be able to twist my arms back and actually close this. It's got some nice, snug, tailored looking gloves. And it looks pretty small and pretty slim, which is good. So another thing, I know there's all the things, all the things to point out. When I gave measurements, my custom measurements, for them to make this suit to fit me, I purposefully rounded down, but very, very, very slightly. So I took very precise measurements with a measuring tape, but if I ever got kind of a funky ending number or two on my measurement, like if it was, uh, if it was like a measurement of, let's say, 15 and 6 eighths, inches. If I ever got that as a measurement, I'd look at it and be like, that's so pointless. Like, it's a stretchy suit. I deliberately wanted it to be snug and form-fitting because I like my bodysuits tailored. If you've seen my Shinoir costume, that will tell you everything you need to know. 
And so that six eighths of an inch, I would round down to it being now just 15 and a half inches or 15 and four eighths. So I would take two eighths down and just slightly round it down. So when in doubt, an area was not gonna be even the tiniest bit too baggy. That was my philosophy, my sort of approach to giving measurements for this thing. So if my method was correct, this should be fine. I do wanna give props to them when making this suit. Um, you can see it really well here on the back shoulder. They did a really excellent job with matching their lines when making this. Uh, there's a little bit of a meh right there, but for the most part, like I'm being super nitpicky, but they matched their lines of like the spider web design super well. This fabric feels really good. I gotta say, I gotta say it feels pretty darn good. The neck looks like it comes up super high, which I guess is the point because I guess it comes probably to just below your chin, like at the very top of your neck. And then all of that extra is where you tuck the mask fabric into. So it gives the most kind of like seamless overall look. That's my theory anyway. So yeah, um, I'm gonna try this on and see how it fits. And if it doesn't fit like a glove all the way around, I mean, we'll see what happens. I'm not super worried about it because if all else fails, I can and will tailor this myself if I have to. I've made enough bodysuits in my day to know how to do that. But with custom measurements, hopefully I don't have to. So only way to find out is to give it a go. So I will put this on and I will be right back. Wow, I'm actually really impressed with this. Custom measurements are the way to go. So overall, the fit of this suit, overall it's excellent. Um, the fingers are snug, but not too tight. They're not too loose. The arms feel especially awesome. Legs feel good. The length of the whole suit feels good. The neck may be a bit tall, but better too tall than too short in my opinion because that is something I can always fix if I really really want to. The contouring on this suit actually looks really cool. If I keep looking over here it's because I have a mirror over there, a full length one that I'm kind of checking myself out in. The back zipper definitely took some strategic wiggling but I got it on, we're good, it's fine. So overall, I'm super impressed. There are a few places that I am probably going to want to tailor myself to make this like fit perfectly. Um, the crotch seam is a bit too low, so I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna wanna tailor that a bit higher. There's a little bit of extra room here in the bicep area. So if I take this underarm seam in a little bit that will be super tailored and then it will all be fine. Uh, shoulders are good, even maybe a bit narrow surprisingly, so I'm not gonna really want to change anything about that. There's maybe slightly too much here at the sides. Yeah, I think it's there's a, some folds happening here under my ribs, so I'm probably gonna want to take the sides in just a hair and I think where it needs the most work is the hands. Here I'll come closer so you can see. Overall they did really well but there's definitely a few spots where it's too roomy. Up here kind of around this seam it could do with a bit of tailoring if that was tighter this would be the whole hand looks a bit flatter and nicer. I might take a little bit of tailoring in at the wrist just to kind of smooth out the back of the hand a little bit more. Overall, I think those are really the only fixes that I would make to this part of the suit, apart from, you know, obviously the foot. <laughs> I can't go anywhere in these as they are because I would just rip up the bottom of the suit and then what's the point? Uh, the material is really, really good. I feel I can, I can move just fine in it. It's super stretchy, it's good. Again, the contouring on the suit looks really, really nice. 
other place I'm gonna wanna do probably the most tailoring actually, I forgot to mention this, is probably here. The inside of my leg, kind of closer to my ankle. It's very roomy. So that's where I would probably take out the most, but apart from that, it's good. Because I am filming this in summer, in my apartment with no air conditioning, I'm very warm. Oh. <laughs> Especially because it like covers up my whole neck. So I feel like I, my skin can't really breathe, but in the colder months, this would be a great costume to wear. That leaves this guy to try on. I really hope that this works and that this looks okay. <laughs> Cause I feel great right now. Let's hope the feeling lasts. Okay, BRB. Did I do it? Okay, I think I got this on. It's a little hard to tell if I have it like centered, but yeah, mask is on now. I can actually see super well in it. Um, the mesh does a really good job of hiding kind of my face like it's supposed to but I can still see great, so that's really awesome. I feel actually really cool in this costume. It fits super well. It needs like a few tailor spots, and to do that, I would try it on inside out, and then take in the spots and pin up the parts of the seams that I need to take some of the excess fabric out of, stitch it on the handy dandy serger, and then we're good. And then it will fit like a glove. It's really funny because there's like people walking back and forth outside of my open window doing laundry in my apartment complex. They haven't noticed me yet. What would happen if I just like st stood by the window, just watched? Then they walk by and I'll just, I'll just wave. Okay, it's actually really hot in this mask. I'm gonna take it off because I'm dying. I made it, I'm alive. This would be even hotter if you actually like wore a wig, but thankfully my hair is close enough to the point where I may just not bother if I ever decide to take the mask off. I'll just, I'll just work with what I have. Here's kind of what the legs look like, by the way, if you were wondering. They're pretty simple black bottoms to the feet. So that has been my review for Cosplay Wars. A huge, huge, huge thank you to Cosplay Wars for reaching out to me in the first place and sending me this costume because I really like it. I'm actually super hyped to actually wear this somewhere because I feel great in it. Just needs a couple little tailor spots here and there and then I will be golden. This will be a really good cosplay for me to kind of go incognito somewhere if I ever need to just like veg at a con but I don't want to like go out of cosplay. Then I can just be Spider-Man. That's all for that. As always, Please scroll down and read the description box below this video and there you will find lots of useful information such as all of Cosplay Wars social media and their website where you can check out all the really cool awesome costumes that they have. Yeah, I think that's about all I have to say. So thank you again to Cosplay Wars and thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was helpful, informative, or entertaining to you in some way, shape, or form. And I will see you all next time. Take care. Okay, wait, come back before you go. I have very important information for you about this costume. You can use your phone in it. This, I'm not kidding, this is really important. The home button on my iPhone doesn't always wanna work, but if I can get it just right, it works really well if you use like, just the very like pads of your fingers, the middle finger works really well, I find for some reason. But yeah, you can use your phone. So you're not isolated from everyone and everything. I'll actually go now. Bye.